So I did a stream the other day on strike throw mix-ups and tick throws. I help run a little online Guilty Gear community and we have a high proportion of beginner players and I noted that a lot of them lean on the dust button too much. The stream was uh, pretty well received but also a bit of a mess so I'm going to try and do an abridged version of it right now. So when people really start learning they kind of just do strings as a big confirm like oh they blocked. Try and end safe. And if it hits they'll try and do something. But then as they improve they realize that it's kind of getting hard to make people get hit. So you start seeing players that lean on Dust or if it's Kai, stuff like Reed Sever, which are these slow, sometimes risky overheads. And they can work for a while because they're hard for new players to punish, they're hard to react to, and they get decent reward. It's not a great reward, but at the level they're playing at, they're very effective, so it's hard to wean people away from these. So a lot of players will say that 5D is a bad button, but that's definitely not true. But it's definitely weak in a lot of situations, especially for just raw mix-up, because the effectiveness of the move is based entirely on your opponent's ability to react to it. You cannot outplay your opponent easily with a 5D. Some players out there will just be able to block them basically every time. And when you play somebody who does that, you then are in a situation where your whole game plan doesn't work anymore. This means that 5Ds aren't necessarily bad or that you should avoid using them, but they should be a spice in your game plan. They should not be the foundation because they are unstable. So what we really want is a stable way to open people up, to do damage, and to outplay our opponent rather than waiting for them to fail themselves. So what do we do? We start tick throwing them. So while throws can do some damage, especially if you spin meter, it's kind of not the point. The threat of the tick throw and the conditioning that you get from establishing that you're willing to tick throw is more important than the damage you actually get from the tick throw in a lot of situations. Because what you really want is for when you run up to mash jab that this starts happening. That your other player starts trying to stop your approaches. Because once that happens, you can start having a lot of fun. And this sequence creates a two-frame gap that allows you to counter-hit their counter-mashing, giving you a big reward for it. So there are a few reasons why this is good. One of the main things is the fact that this will work on everybody. You can tick throw and then counter-poke the best players in the world. You don't have to worry about their reactions. They cannot react to this. They have to guess. And once you have someone guessing you have the capacity to outplay them the other reason is when you do a 5d in a lot of situations your turn's over you're back to neutral at best or you're getting punished with this you can do safe pressure that can give you a reward but if they don't bite nothing happens so there i'm just doing a safer little string to catch their mashing but if they don't do anything, if I disable the wake up bot right now, if they do nothing, nothing bad's happening to me. I don't lose initiative. I can continue my turn. If I go for this, I can just go back and in a way that gives me like plus one so I can try and maintain pressure still. And this changes the way your strings work mentally because now the beginning of your string has purpose. You're not just doing a confirm, oh, they block. Let's do a mix-up and end my turn, and hopefully they get hit. Instead, it's like, oh, they might... No. No. Run in. Do some stuff. Get a tick throw. And you're encouraging them to mash at all points. You're, they are now more afraid than if they're just like, okay, wait it out. Wait for the overhead. Oh, it's my turn. They don't know where their turn is as much anymore. And by muddying the waters, you get more capacity to outplay your opponent. And then you can be like, well, you know, I play Millie, I play Aino, I play a character with unreactable, unreactable high-low. But even then, just throwing in the empty dash tick, tick throws and stuff like that, it adds to the cognitive load your opponent has to deal with. Most characters don't have options quite this good, but even for them, 
just doing simple text just rattles their opponent and opens up new opportunities you will see high level inos go for frame traps so instead of going for stuff like a 5d at the end of its pressure screen you now can start thinking of using that slot for other uses like catching jump outs and other things like that and then maybe this starts happening right you start trying to throw them you'll get counter throw to throw broken the thing you can do there is just do a simple string to a low you have to stand up to throw somebody so just simple strings like that that have a low in them to catch the throw attempt you now have a completely solid string with no gaps in it that is actually a mix-up it's not a common mix-up you're not going to pick up a lot of hits doing that but those hits are going to add up and they're basically for free once you establish the threat of dick throws and now a lot of these examples might not be perfect i'm a soul main i feel like it's disingenuous to talk about strike throw as a soul player because the rewards are so obvious when you're playing soul you have to play strike throw the character teaches you all about it but these principles do apply to every character um, there's also a lot of nuance that um i'm not really quite covering here that's something you're gonna have to learn on your own this isn't a tutorial on everything strike throw this is just to give you an idea of like, how you can use these tools to start forcing your opponents to make guesses that allow you to get hits that are highly rewarding while taking minimal risk yourself this is just kind of like a primer to get you going in that direction so i hope this was helpful